KLST News at 5. Welcome back, San Angelo's Judge Alan Gilbert with us this afternoon. He's chairman of the Special Charter Review Committee. Nice to have you here. Well, it's nice to be here today. I appreciate it very much. You've been very busy. You had a busy summer. Tell us what all you've been doing. Well, the, the committee's been working extremely hard, uh, trying to look at every option that we possibly can with the elected versus the appointed chief of police and spent a lot of time talking to a lot of people, doing a lot of research and a lot of discussions between all of us. Ultimately, this will be decided by voters. City Council will decide whether to put it to a vote for the May elections next year. Tell us about what you've learned and what, A, and then B, what some of the options are between an elected, as we have now, and an appointed police chief for the city. Well, there's, there's a lot of things that we have learned. Uh, uh, one is that fact that we are a civil service community. We adopted that back in the 60s. And then we have an elected uh, chief of police and, and civil service that provides for an appointed chief of police with the requirements. And uh, the fact that our elected under our home, on our charter uh, does not have any real qualifications. So one thing we looked at is do we need to go back to civil service rules and kind of use some of those requirements for the elected uh, chief of police? Civil service rules do what? Well, civil service rules basically are what controls the police department. It tells the chief of police in this circumstance, this and this and this can happen. It sets up the rules if, if someone gets disciplined in the police department, what actions can take place. It provides for an appeal process to a civil service board, things of this nature. And so it gives a guideline for the police department. Okay, you all have come up with several options. Tell us what those options are and then there you also, one of the reasons we're talking about this this afternoon is because there's a town hall Monday for anyone who wants to attend to learn more. That's right. And I want to tell you about the options, but first I want to uh, appeal to everybody out there is, is come to the meeting Monday night, six o'clock at City Hall because we want to hear from the community. We want to know what you think. We want to know, we want you to ask questions so we can give you the answers. There's a lot of things I could sit here for an hour and tell you about some of the things that we, we've we learned that I'm, I was in the city for 44 years and there's some things that I learned uh, about the elected chief of police situation. And, and we want everybody to know all the facts. You know, uh, we've had the elected chief for many, many years and it's worked very great. We've had a lot of tremendous chief of police. Uh, but sometimes when circumstances happen uh, with elected, there is no control over the chief of police where an appointed chief of police gives you the option for some disciplinary actions, things of this nature that you can't take if you have an elected chief. If, if under an appointed police chief system, what is the mechanism for choosing an appointed police chief? Who does that? Well, <clears throat> the city manager under civil service provides that if you have an uh, appointed chief, the city manager appoints the chief, but only with the approval of the city council. So you've got seven people sitting there that have been elected by the public, and it's ultimately their decision. Now, one of the things that we did learn that if we were to recommend, or if the city was to go to make a recommendation for appointed to go on the uh, the election, uh, that we could also request that there be a committee appointed to serve with the city manager, and we could even say, and it has to have two uh, police officers from the San Angelo Police Department has to be appointed on that committee to work with the city manager to get the recommendation, to make the recommendation to the city council. All right, what are the options you all have come up with? Well, there's basically three. One is to leave it alone, leave it just like it is. The second option would be to keep an elected chief of police, but put certain requirements for uh, the qualifications. Person, the qualifications for a person to have in order to, to run or to be elected to the chief of police. Uh, third is to recommend appointed with a subcommittee to work with the city manager uh, to help nominate. him and nominate him to the city man uh, to the city council. So that's the three options that we're working with, and we want to know the public's opinion on which one of those do you want us to, to recommend. That will go to the council in January. So again, this meeting, six o'clock, city hall. Anybody can go. Town anybody. hall meeting. Please and you be all, there. You all will be there to answer we'll questions. We'll be there to answer questions. We need your input. We also took a poll from the San Angelo Police Department. What they thought. And we have that, and we're going to announce that on Monday night also. Okay, November 14th, 6 o'clock at City Hall. Judge yes. Gilbert, nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank Stay you. Stay warm. <laughs> we're going to look outside and see what's going on.